Good morning, Mama. Morning. Guess what? What? No school. Yeah. <laughs> it's your first snow day. <laughs> first snow day of the school year. You get to be home with Mama all day. And play in the snow. Huh? It hasn't started snowing yet, but it's gonna. You can play in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Addie and Boober are here. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Snow Day King. Who called it? Me. You called it. <laughs> Pretty proud of yourself? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Did you have good seeps? Huh? <laughs> good morning! Did you have the best sweep in the whole wide world? Did you have the best sweep in the whole wide world? Did you have the best sweep in the whole world? <laughs> I love you. You go outside. <laughs> Are you excited that your friends came over? Yeah, say good morning! <laughs> He's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's from Cooper's physio. Because he's actually doing his exercises. What? Oh my goodness. Jasper's going to still come there today, but we can't even do it. He's amazing. He's a pro at Floors Lava. Yeah, so we better be careful, huh? Look out! Good morning. Hello. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda. It's starting to snow. We are getting our very first snowstorm of this winter season. And we're all kind of feeling excited about it, to be honest. We're all kind of feeling excited. Um, all the plans that we had for today, kaputski, they're done. Um, and that means we can all stay home. <laughs> which excuse me for momming too hard when I'm get, get excited when something is canceled okay <laughs> Curtis is working today he's actually working in our small town so he's only a few minutes away from the house um so hopefully he has a good day too and when he comes home he actually comes home at six so he's gonna be home for supper as long as <laughs> as long as he gets off work on time when you're a paramedic Really, the time you're supposed to get off is just a suggestion. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's happening. Um, he definitely sometimes stays like four or five hours longer than he's supposed to. So we'll see what happens. But I am like, you guys, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm also really excited. So maybe the excitement is adding to my feeling of overwhelmedness because I can't exactly pinpoint the locale of why I am a little stressed right now. I think it's basically because I feel underprepared for the holidays and I'm normally so much more prepared. And I know people are like, Miranda, like you are prepared. Look how much you have. Look in your closet. You can barely move in your closet. You have so much stuff. I know, but there's usually more. <laughs> and, and actually other years I made a deal with myself um, and I usually hit my deal. Um, which was have all the presents bought and wrapped by December 1st. Is that happening this year? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> to the no, no, no! Hell to the no! It's not happening. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Actually, we will be still shopping on Christmas Eve. Unless we win the lottery, lottery between now and then, um, <laughs> yeah, that we'll still be shopping on Christmas Eve. We are gonna try to do because we we buy for our families as well, like not just the people that live in this house. Um, and we decided it's gonna be a gift card Christmas because <laughs> yesterday when we were shopping around. I was like, babe, you realize like our last pay comes in 
um, the day before December uh, 24th, um, which is Winnie's birthday. And uh, we're gonna be shopping because we need that money for Christmas presents. And I was like, can we do like a gift card Christmas? We're like, we just give everybody gift cards and say, Merry Christmas. And Curtis is like, it's not, it's not special. We, we can't do it like that. It's not very special. Like we got to do better because we normally do better, honestly. Um, but this year, you know, every year is different. And this year it's, it's cutting her close. Okay. It's a real nice close shave <laughs> with a two blader. Okay. Let's, we're not talking five blades. It's a close shave with a two blade. So you better be careful or you're going to nick yourself. Okay. <laughs> My analogies though, right? <laughs> After we were shopping for a little while, Curtis looks over at me and he's like, I think gift card Christmas is a great idea. <laughs> I was like, see, you just, you just needed to get on my level of a little bit stress, you know, a little bit like, oh no, what are we going to do? You know, and then you'll be like, oh yeah, gift card Christmas is a great idea. <laughs> so we think that's what we're going to do for our families um, and also for our teenagers as well. Um, I think Winnie might be close to being completely done, um, but she has a birthday right before Christmas too. So we do have a lot bought for her. Um, I have a couple more ideas that I still need to get, um, but I think the majority is done. Today, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to look after some children. We're probably going to play in the snow, which is very exciting. Um, and... I'm going to get out all of the Christmas presents and birthday presents that I've already bought um, and I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to see where we're at. I'm going to write down what we don't have, all of our other ideas, and we're going to go from there. It's going to hopefully like calm my stress down a little bit, but let me tell you, did you see my Christmas tree? Like, hello, we did a live last night while we decorated our Christmas tree. Yesterday, we stayed up until 1030 at night finishing Home Alone. It was, I fell asleep. Yep, I definitely fell asleep, missed the best parts. Um, but when he was on my lap and we cuddled and we had matching jammies on. I mean, if you've been missing the vlogs and the lives, like go catch up, I'll wait for you here because you're missing a good time. <laughs> but yesterday we cut down our Christmas tree. We set it up, we bought our new ornaments and our tree looks magnificent. Like it's a 90s Christmas yet again i love it and just like sitting in here with my family morning noon or night and just looking at the tree it's like ah, there's this little bit of like childhood miranda that's like hey girl you got this you've been preparing your whole life for this you got this it's okay and really truly my life goal was to be a mom I didn't have big dreams of being like a celebrity or actually that's a lie. At one point I did want to be Faith Hill. So, <laughs> and I also wanted to marry Bruce Frisco, who was a guy on our local news network. Um, he was on live at five. <laughs> Any New Brunswickers are probably laughing right now. If you didn't know about my crush on Bruce Frisco, uh, Steve Murphy was a little too old for me at the time. But Bruce, young blood, um, uh, he's, he's like 20 years older than I am, but just saying. <laughs> but other than my dream of being the new Faith Hill and marrying big old Bruce Frisco, that's a lot of coffee. My only other dream was to be a mom. And I achieved that dream. I am who I wanted to be. Which is kind of like... It feels emotional, like a little bit. Um, it's just, you know how you dream of something and then you think, but it's not what I expected. <laughs> um, yes, but also like, it's better than I expected. And that's a fact, like that's true. I never expected to be this in love especially after 17 years together. I never expected, even when we got married, I thought, surely I can't love you any more than I love you on this day. Well, that's, I love him millions of pounds more than I did when we got married. And I thought I loved him then, you know, and I did, but it's, it's grown a lot. <laughs> 
That's what she said. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> of course you did, Addie. Life isn't perfect. And there's been bumps along the way and there's been bumps like daily, daily bumps all the time. It happens, but like this life is really beautiful. And financially right now it is a little bit difficult. Um, and I think it's just because we had so many unexpected payments come all at once. And um, also everything costs more. So even though I'm not out there like, yeah, hauls from Michaels, hauls from Marshalls and Winners and Miranda's buying all the Disney stuff she finds. Like, even though I told Curtis, I was like, oh yeah, I won't do any more of those hauls because we need to obviously save the money for Christmas, which I, I did and I'm still doing and that is what we're doing instead. I just thought that would be like the quick fix and it's not. So maybe I wasn't the problem, Curtis. Honestly, I think it's like a combination of um, this world that we're living in right now and the fact that we spend a lot of money on a regular basis and it costs a lot of money to raise a family right now. And it's just, this is where we're at and it's okay. And we're not going into debt. So like we're trying to like make it happen with the money that we have. I know probably a lot of people dig into line of credits or visas and MasterCards and all that kind of thing for Christmas. We don't want to do that. Um, that's not good for us. <laughs> that's just not good for us. So I am really struggling because there has been other years where we have done that. Not that you need to know my fin financial history. Um, just trying to explain like a lot of my stress is financial. And I'm sure the haters are just going to love that because they do. They love anything that they can sink their teeth into. Well, listen, almost 300 pound ass right here. Sink it. <laughs> but our kids are still going to have the best Christmas ever. And I just need to be in the now and just love the moments. Because when Miranda gets into her head and starts worrying Oh, but they had so much more last year. Oh, we got to be able to buy each other so much last year. We don't even know if we're going to buy each other presents this year. Um, literally, it's going to be like Christmas Eve. Like, you want to go to town and buy each other stuff for a stocking or no? Like, that's probably actually what's going to happen this year. And honestly, presents are fun, but it's the presents. Okay, that's corny. <laughs> I just want to be able to be with my family. That's the ultimate Christmas gift. And honestly, in these times, that is the only Christmas gift that I actually want, you know? I'm just keeping it real, you guys, and I hope you appreciate my realness. Um, you're not alone if you're struggling through these holidays, okay? Like, you're definitely not alone. I am going to try my damnedest to enjoy every single moment fully, to enjoy every moment with Sheppy every day in December until Christmas, to enjoy going for walks in the snow and watching Christmas movies. Like I, that's the fun stuff. It's not the presents. It really isn't. I did a little bit is, okay? <laughs> because I have kids, um, but we're gonna go through those today. And I think we're going to be just fine. But cheers. I wish you guys were here. Well, you're kind of here. But actually today, when Addie and Boober got here, Winnie was so excited to go show them the presents that she got from the last P.O. Box unboxing. And she set up this whole thing on top of her dresser so when she opened her curtain um, from her closet that her friends Addie and Boober could see she did a setup for them so they could see what she got and she was like this is from Mary this is from Mary and she's like and this Tara got me this last time like she was just showing everything and I'm like my friends are here <laughs> 
I'm very grateful for you. I really am. I love you guys. <laughs> Look at Mickey Mouse flying around on the fire hose. Yep. They're a fire department. Isn't that cool? I like squishies you see Donald slime. coming out the side? I like squishies. <laughs> Pretty neat, eh? Right? <laughs> yeah, I like that one. It's snowing! <laughs> It is, and it's gonna snow way more. I'm gonna it. Oh, we're gonna. I made the bed specifically to cover it with Christmas presents in three, two, one. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> it is completely covered. I don't even think you'll believe me because I don't think I can express the amount of relief that I feel right now. Like, I can take a deep breath. <laughs> I really can. I forgot. Like, I forget. I forgot all of the things that we bought. There are so many things that just flew the coop. And I completely forgot that we had already bought some things. Um, so, yay us. Like, we... We are so close to done. Like, we are... So, like... <laughs> Maybe this means Curtis and I can get each other's stockings this year. That's, I got to call Curtis. We got to FaceTime or something because he's, he's at work. He's got to see this. He's got to see this. Like we still have a few things to buy for um, our nieces and nephews. And there's a couple things on everyone's list. Actually, today's Cyber Monday. We just ordered some stuff on Amazon. <sighs> but I feel, you can hear the kids running around. Um. I feel so good. So Winnie, I actually thought it was going to look like Winnie had a ton more than the boys do. Um, but she doesn't have a ton more considering we are waiting for stuff to come in for the boys. And it's also Winnie's birthday stuff. That's right here. So here, let me flip you around and show you. Excuse the mess and the noise, but we're friends. So I'm sure you don't mind all of that, guys. All of that. So much fun. And this is Cooper's stuff. And this is Skylar's stuff so far. So um, over here is like nieces and nephews and Addie and Boober kind of stuff. There's more to come for that. Um, but honestly, I wanted to make sure I had enough for my kids. And I think you can tell that I do. <laughs> this makes me so excited for Cooper so excited yesterday at um the under armor store these t-shirts were 13 dollars. yeah so we got two we also got some other things so anyways okay i can breathe <laughs> i feel like a kid at christmas i really do i feel i feel like i feel like i could cry like i just i feel so happy right now like I was, I, I allow my brain because I don't know how to shut the friggin' bitch up. Like I, I can't stop her. It goes nuts. Like I said to Curtis the whole way home from town yesterday. Actually, we, we didn't really talk on the way home from town because I was literally having a panic attack. Um, so I was just trying to breathe. Um, I get really overwhelmed and I, my head spins these thoughts it spins these thoughts it spins the thoughts that i naturally have um it spins the thoughts that oh my goodness like worst case scenario okay it also spins the thought of what i should be feeling and then it spins the thought why the hell aren't you normal why can't you feel these feelings that you should be feeling like it is a constant like rah! like I, I can't even explain it to you if you have a brain like mine like oh, don't we deserve a straight jacket like <laughs> in all honesty it probably does make sense that i have this much stuff already and that i've also been wondering like where the heck is the money we were saving hello <laughs> I really thought if I stopped shopping for myself um, and for the house and stuff like that, like the fun kind of shops that I love to do, that we would have extra money to buy the Christmas gifts. We did. You already did it, honey. It's okay. You just, you just lost count. Okay. It's okay. You're, you're good. <sighs> 
I, oh, I gotta call Curtis, BRB. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Curtis. We did a FaceTime call and he's feeling what I'm feeling. We're feeling like, wow, okay, we did all right. Okay, okay. Um, of course, I need to make a list. I'm gonna leave the stuff here because I'm gonna go get the kids lunch. They are desperate to go outside and play in the snow. So we're gonna go play outside, but I want them to eat lunch first. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back down and make my lists. I have to lock my door <laughs> because I do not want anyone to accidentally walk down here and see everything. I forgot I got so much stuff for Sheppy too. All that Sheppy stuff, so. Oh, okay, I feel good. <laughs> of course, first thing they do is eat it. <laughs> Come on out, guys. There's a lot of snow. We know. I just put him out because he wanted to come out, too. I know. We're going to come see ya. I got some shoveling to do, huh? Be careful you don't fall downstairs. in my boot. Already? I didn't tuck my boot in. Classic. Making snow angels? <laughs> Would you guys say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go see the snow dog. He's eating snow. <laughs> he just ate them snow. Hello? Is your name Jazz? Are you from the North Pole? <laughs> you look so handsome. What a good boy. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum. All three of you guys are eating the snow? You guys just had lunch. What the heck? <laughs> no. Well, it's better than lunch. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you guys are dirty. That's yucky. I'm not eating snow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you got me! <laughs> I kind of want to let Jasper off the leash. Might be a bad choice. He stays for, for Curtis in the yard so good. For me, I usually have to bribe him with chicken to come back in the house, but there's nobody else outside. There's really no cars hanging out. And he's going crazy on this leash, you guys. He just wants to be with the kids. We'll try it. Stay. 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 Okay. <laughs> go, Jazzy, go! <laughs> He's going so fast! <laughs> Don't even think about it. You guys, he's thinking about it. I don't think, has he ever been on the trampoline before? Uh -huh. Oh, dang it. You need Randa's help? Yeah. Okay, come here. Look at these Canadian kids, though. Look at these Canadian kids. Oh, thank you, Winnie. What do you guys think? Snow, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up for snow? All right. <laughs> Jasper, what do you think? Paws up? You think paws up? You want to give mom a paw? Let me see. Oh, yeah, handsome boy. You love the snow and you're being a good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> Tell me you're in Canada without telling me you're in Canada. The smell of dope. Always in the air. <laughs> Not from me, but it's from one of my neighbors or all of them combined in one big pot party. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. I had to bring Addy and Boober in because they were frozen. The sky went out with the queen. You guys shovel the deck for me and everything? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Oh, friggin' right. Good job, guys. Thank you. But it's still snowing. Oh, it's, we're still going to get like 10 more centimeters. Uh, I know. Uh-oh. Did you lose a sock? Of course. Let it begin. Let it begin. <laughs> No. Double socks. <laughs> we have an afternoon update for you guys. 
We got the snow. We got the snow. Okay, you want to taste? <laughs> I think we got about 20 centimeters down and it's nice. Like it's not even that cold out. It's been colder actually. Like when I went for a walk the last time it was colder than it is right now. It's actually quite mild and like cold enough so it's not melting. Cold enough so that guy can rip around on his snowmobile four-wheeler. Snowmobile four, it's a four-wheeler. Can see him through the trees. Two four-wheelers actually. I think they're coming this way. Let me just pretend I'm normal. And I'm definitely not standing on my deck with a tripod talking into my phone. It's totally normal. <laughs> Make that. I was going to say make that three um, four wheelers because I looked at my camera and I saw a four wheeler and I thought, I don't know why, but I was like, oh wait, there's three because I can see one in my camera right now. It's still just two, Miranda. <laughs> still just two. <laughs> I got snow on my tripod and it won't go. <laughs> snow on my tripod and it won't go. <laughs> I haven't really done much this afternoon. Um, I did dishes, of course, tidied up, made lunch for myself, ate it, you know, all that stuff. Um, but... I'm going to attack Winnie's bedroom <sighs> and I'm going to try to do it quietly so she doesn't come help. <laughs> Addie and Boober are still here. So I'm thinking, I don't know if I'll get it all the way done today. And I know it seems like I clean that room all the time. Um, I do. I do clean that room all the time. She's got too much stuff. And even though we gave a lot of it away, um, there are some things that are still too special for her to put in the playroom because she doesn't want anybody to play with them unless she's playing with them too, which is fine. Like she doesn't have to give all her toys away to other kids. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, I'm going to go start cleaning her bedroom. I'll give you like a quick peek, but if you're going to judge me, I don't care. Judge me. <laughs> I don't care. Really? That's on you, not on me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's just because she has so many little things. <sighs> so many little things. And a lot of the time when it's time for her to go to bed, I just push everything out of the way and I, I'll tell her, we'll clean it later. I just want you to go to bed. And see, it's on me. Like, it really is. She is actually a good cleaner and she is good at helping. But also, I find it very difficult, um, moms, you understand, to find jobs for your child to do is also like an extra job for you to figure out what they can do. You know what I mean? And then when they do it, it's done too quickly. And then it's like, you got to come up with something else for them to do. So yeah, this is the state that the room is in. And this is the big deal right here. Okay. The LOL dollhouse. She wanted it last Christmas. Santa brought it to her last Christmas. And Mom thinks for Santa to bring Winnie another big item, she needs to get something out of her bedroom because she's got stuff all over every wall. Like there's no place for anything more. You know what I mean? So I tried to convince her to move the LOL dollhouse downstairs. She didn't play with it for like four months, I swear. And then the second that I said, I think we could put that downstairs. All of a sudden, it's her favorite thing. <laughs> Just to prove a point, I'm sure. But, um, so she doesn't want this to move. So she said, why don't you get my books out of here? And I was like, because, like, it's your bedroom and you're supposed to have books in your bedroom. It just goes together. And she's like, yeah, well, we don't read them in the day. We only read them in the night. We can just go get one from downstairs. And then I was like, okay, let's do it. I didn't like the idea. And normally I am such a control freak that I would be like, mm, no, what I say goes. But actually I was just like, yeah, you, you can run downstairs, pick out a book and bring it upstairs for us to read. No problem. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try to get as much done as I can right now and not saying it's going to get finished today because I'm kind of having a more laid back day. I didn't have a shower this morning. If you wanted to know, I'm not even wearing underwear. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm really not. Um, I put on my morning clothes, which were not my jammies, my morning clothes. Um, I washed my face at like one this afternoon. Um, I didn't even put fresh deodorant on. Didn't have a shower. I'm a dirt bag. So welcome to plus size in Canada, dirt bag style, hefty double XL and proud. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some tunes on and I am going to get to work. Shh, they're playing downstairs and they're getting along. Don't anger the beast. Just leave it. Hey guys, I'm cleaning my room. Is there a lot of toys in here or what? Nope, none. <laughs> Just none. Yeah, poor little thing. Poor little girl. Don't have any toys. No toys. <gasps> oh, poor little boy that's going to come try and eat one again. He wants sookies, but then we know you're just going to try to steal a shopkin and run away. Oh, Jazzy. Like, He's trying to get to me when will you move that little basket out of the way? Come get your sookies. Come get your sookies. <laughs> God, you get your sookies. Mm. You can get your sookies. You can get your sookies. He's a pretty sucky boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's bun. It's bun. It's bun. It's bun. It's bun. Anus. No, it doesn't. Ah. He's annoying. How come I'm the only one cleaning here? Uh oh, we just cleaned downstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm juggling. Poor babies. I'm just cleaning very slowly. I'm a professional juggler. Okay, let's see a professional juggler. Juggler. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you guys having fun are you cold are you standing there eating snow right off the freaking railing <laughs> winter bath are you guys cold or are you doing good? good are you putting snow in the garbage can oh nice you doing that for dad you guys are sweet Dad's running late, so he's going to be a little while longer. Okay. He's at the hospital with the patient. Can we just do the, the entry part, and then he can use the snowblower to do the rest? Yep, yep. Okay. I'm done cleaning the room, so I'm going to go cook supper now. Yes. Winnie, don't fill up on snow, okay? I want you to eat your real supper. Okay? It's just water. <laughs> well, it took two hours, and we removed, we, <laughs> I removed two full garbage bags filled with stuff. I was like telling Winnie either it's going downstairs or it's being donated. It's not staying here anymore. Like I wasn't giving her the option on a lot of things because you guys know she likes to come thrifting with me and we've only probably been thrifting like for toys for maybe two years, but she always gets stuff. Sometimes it's busted. Sometimes she plays with it the day that she gets it. But like, we can just redonate that. You know what I mean? We don't need to keep it. If we're not playing with it, okay, we've moved on. Let's move on. Um, anyways, look how much better. Oh my heck, like, whoo, the weight's been lifted in many ways off my chest today. Look, the bookcase is gone, which a part of me is a little sad because I do feel like every kid needs their own bookcase. But she's still got it. It's just not in here anymore. And maybe it would be better for the kids when they're all playing downstairs together. Maybe they'll get out the books a little bit more often. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. We read every day. Um, but this, like, Winnie actually, cutest little girl. So we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. I was trying to get Winnie um, ever since we got this big dresser thing that she wanted from Grammy G, which is super special. Ever since she got that... There's been no more wall space to put her LOL house because that's where the LOL house was. Um, anyways, so um, I moved her LOL house. <laughs> it's really, that's a tongue twister. LOL house over here and away from the heater enough so like it would be fine. Um, but it's just stayed there. I wanted to bring it downstairs, but she just kind of pitched a fit and was really sure she wanted it to stay up here. So anyways, it's staying up here. And when she came in and saw, like, you guys, there's floor space. Are you kidding me? Like, look at this floor. Hello. Hi, floor. Nice to meet you. 
Um, anyways, when she came in, she literally said, I have two windows. I can look out both windows now because she really couldn't get to the back window because the LOL house was kind of diagonal in the way there. Um, but anyways, I thought that was really sweet. So <sighs> mission complete. I am so glad <laughs> that that is done because that's been on my to-do list for a few weeks now. And I really wanted to have it done before Christmas. And hey, I got it done before Sheppy came even. So yay me. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking we got to start wrapping presents, which is just like, oh my land. It's crazy. We're going to start wrapping presents now. Like this is so crazy. I just, it's Christmas and I, I'm speechless. <laughs> Before I start cooking supper, I want to go out and look at what the lights look like in the snow. It's magical. Oh my heck, you guys. Look at the snow falling in the street lights. Oh my land, that poor dog, you guys. <laughs> rough life. Get it? Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Don't get me! No, I'm scared! <laughs> oh, you railed me. Oh, I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Look how pretty everything is. Our little like dogs and <laughs> gifts are completely covered. You can't even tell what they are anymore. Look, we have an interactive toy right there. Interactive decoration. <laughs> and we got our wreath up that we bought yesterday at the Christmas tree farm. Curtis wrapped it in some lights. <sighs> Ooh, I'm excited. <sighs> I'm really excited. <laughs> but also I'm weighing myself tomorrow morning. So tomorrow will be a weigh-in vlog. Think, think happy thoughts, guys. <laughs> think happy thoughts. <laughs> For supper, I made some rice and some hamburger, some veggies. I mixed onions and red pepper with my hamburger. And I like all my foods to mix, but I also like them to look pretty first. So all of this will be eaten together, um, which I'm the only cool one in the house that likes it like that. So Winnie's having circle fries and plain rice with butter and salt, right? Mm -hmm. And the boys' plates look hurry. a lot like dad's plate. You gonna get some veggies on there, babe? I've got seven minutes to eat. I don't know oh how much my veggies. Heck. I don't he just got home from work and now he's gotta, headed to the fire hall. Gotta prioritize my food and veggies didn't make the cook. You guys know how this rushed energy is making me feel right now. He's happy for the energy. He's not happy energy at all. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen your happy energy. I love you, baby. <laughs>
love you guys see you tomorrow